Greetings, little viewer. The good tonight here today. We're looking at the Deo Dawn, not Deo Dong, as per the previous 75 takes. A little three magazine, 556, five, little placard got going on here. So, back when I was running the LBT 6094, I had that fixed flap, an on set flap. My favorite pouch I got to run was the uh, the STEC triple mids. They do come in different sizes, the mids are personally my favorite. This one's actually naked, so it doesn't have the webbing, but otherwise it'd have like webbing here, webbing here, and then some open space at the bottom. Shorts lose that bottom part, and the talls get an extra piece of webbing. So, medium's got really good retention for a plate carrier. Shorts, almost always on the belt line. And then talls are for some reason. So, Estec, cool company. They started making these, and these are something that have been coming more and more into public knowledge because when people buy JPCs, SPCs, Pharaohs, all those fun different company plate carriers, they go, oh, well, I guess it's time to utilize these clips because they don't have a uh, fixed uh, flap or anything. And I need to either buy myself a Spiritus Microfite because it's got those little elastic inserts and you can do fun stuff at the front of it, add things, put the little tourniquet at the bottom, I'm gonna get myself a micro flight, or I need to get myself a Travis Haley D3 CRM so I can have those uh, really bulky but uh, pretty cool uh, magazine retention things and this cool clamshell pouch that I can keep, I don't know, Snickers and candy bars and you pretty much keep Snickers and candy bars in both, but some people I started looking at the uh, the Estac because Estac came out with this. I was wondering when they would, honestly, because with how nifty the pouches were moving the uh, paradigm over to the uh, removable um, placards and stuff kind of became a thing. If you're running between a lot of different firearms, they do make SMG insert inserts or SMG placard that holds five magazines. And they also make like a 762 placard that also holds three. And they also make a quadruple, so you get an extra mag pouch there. It sticks out on the side a little bit, kind of like that, and you get that extra going on. So. What do you got talking about? So it doesn't weigh terribly much, but again, ounces become pounds, pounds become pain. So it is a bit heavier than um, things like the uh, Blue Force Gear 10-speed mag pouches, which are considered de facto the coolest mag pouches out there, but, well, they're still in the mail and we haven't had any hands-on time with them, we're going to be looking at this. So a lot of people look at this as an alternative. They're not going to be running any sort of like micro chest rig setup. They just want, hey, mags. I need my mags and I need my mags now. So of course everyone got the little clips going on unless you're using like an AVS flat, but we're gonna get to that in the future. So all you do, same concept, you just strap this on in here. Come on. There we go, strap that on there. Set that down, watch out for your comms. And there you go, you got a simple little placard. So you're still attaching, similar to how I was running the uh, 6094 with the uh, mag pouches on the flap. Now we just swapped it out with some Velcro. Pretty nifty, I like it. Some Velcro and these little straps here. So the height is not adjustable, so I wouldn't mind these running a bit lower in all honesty, just so the uh, mags sit a bit lower on the on the rig, but you know, options. So they go in there, you got the same Kiwi inserts, Kiwi inserts. Russian cool Kiwi stickers they also sent me because they're cool guys. Yeah, the Kiwi inserts, they work the same as they did previously. Honestly, we're really just taking that mag placard and moving on over here. Now, the benefit... Well, actually, we'll get to that in a minute. So we got our three different mags here. If you're stuck in Japan and you can't do any real guns training on your own free time, there's always, you know, everyone's favorite, Airsoft. You know, that thing that everyone loves and respects and never makes fun of. You've got your old school, uh, what is this, the M2 version? Yeah, the Magpul M2 magazine pouch from back in the day. Fits pretty nicely. And then you've got the newer uh, M3, which is the, or yeah, Gen M3 magazines that are even newer and niftier. And yeah, as you can see, they all fit really comfy. And the only issue I really have is the fact that they're up on my PTT. But fortunately for me, I can just move that up one higher and problem solved. So mags all fit. Retention is good. They're actually there's a lot of retention. These are still relatively new. They're not nearly as broken in. The um, M2 pulls easier than the airsoft mag, and the M3 has a bit more nubs and stuff, so it actually has higher retention. Now these aren't going to go flying out or doing anything crazy. 
then they're really secure and you can one hand them so that's important because if we are doing our super cool high speed operations and you're going pop 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 okay i got uh i don't know maybe seven rounds maybe 12 rounds not enough to be really comfortable in the fact that we got a down moment and we're gonna have another engagement so what we're gonna do is we're gonna move this over here we're gonna grab a new magazine new magazine goes in old magazine gets re-indexed and we're back in now we got 30 plus one yay or 30 if you're a uh, john lovell and having 29 29 rounds in a magazine is your cool hip thing to do so john's a cool guy anyway so you can one hand re-index which for a lot of people is a really big deal i'm i, I mean i could do two hand if you're using like the uh other types of magazine pouches where you have the two hands all you got to do is one of these numbers and that's the uh, the bad way to do it, because <laughs> you take the magazine out first. But you want maybe you want to do, grab one of these, go over here, pop that out, swap this in. You get the idea. With a lot more finesse is the key takeaway. But yeah, so you can two hand it, you can one hand it. A lot of people really seem to like being able to quick one hand uh, re-index and swap over the magazines and stuff. Other people they're they're fine with two. So that's how that all works. And yeah, so placards versus, well, placards with the micro chest rigs or versus the uh, fixed sort of detachable flap. Key differences for firing 5.56 five, today, but we also brought out a little submachine gun, say like an MP9 before uh, uh, Bootkiss Lotkin made uh, his video and now it became stupid popular again. And all the, you know, because all the airsoft kids start buying the uh, KSC ones. Even though back in 2014 they weren't that great, so hopefully the quality control has improved a bit. There you go. Oh yeah, we're gonna use the submachine gun so you get your five five mag placard. Put that on just like that one, and you can go on your range with your sub gun. And you go. Oh, we gotta do the long range shooting too. Get the uh, get the Scar H out here. Oh, yeah, seven six two magazine pouches and jamming that placard. Great for moving between weapon systems. If you're staying primarily fixed on 5.56, five, like I'm more or less planning to do, then the detachable flap becomes a bit more viable. So, other people, they go, oh yeah, I got um, I have the Travis Haley one because I want to be able to carry all my stuff. I think these work better as micro uh, chest rigs, necessarily, than placards, but you know, to each their own, this one does sit a lot lower, which is what I liked. I'm, I got the back pleat panel on, that's why it's not sticking crazy. But I think these generally work better. They do have a lot of cool little ideas and stuff going on. They fall right down if you don't have the Velcro on them. Did you know that? Gravity. And then of course you got the Mark IV. I'm going to do a video on all these in the future, but yeah. That's more or less how all these look via comparison. The Mark IV actually, yeah, that's, that's, that's just pretty high too. The Mark IV. I know the Mark IV has all sorts of problems with mag pull mags. Yeah, that's Mark IV's got the same short, uh, short strap thing going on, so it's going to sit pretty high as well. So, yeah, so STEC. If you're looking at an STEC option, these run like what, 70, 75 bucks? Whereas the Travis Haley's like 100 something, and the Mark IV is like 70 if you don't have any inserts or any of the, you know, the important things you need to run it. This one, right off the bat, relatively cheap, effective. People like their Kiwis, and some people like Key Lime Pie. So, it's an option. It's something you guys can look at. If you're debating buying one, you can do much, much worse than uh, than uh, Kiwis or Estec. Est I like Estec. Although, particularly the Estec thing I'm mostly running is that little fast bag on the belt. That's my personal favorite. But hey, they've been around for a while, and now they can be attached directly to your... This is not a slick plate carrier, but slicker, non-flap paradigm of plate carriers. So, that's all I got. If you guys got any questions, well, um, I mean, you can comment them down below. It's relatively straightforward, but again, my straightforward is I'm in the know, I've got all the knowledge. If you're like coming at this more blind, you might have a few more questions. So feel free, all that knowledge and information is there. All you need to do is ask. So cheers everyone, stay chivalrous, and uh, have a fantastic day. Also, Marine Corps birthday tomorrow, so look forward to that. Yut and Semper Fi. See ya!